Hello and welcome to Wednesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic and today I'm going to attempt uh, the puzzle that a number of you have been requesting for the last week or so. Uh, it's Fistemafel's latest Sudoku. It's called Chaos Construction Minesweeper um, and naturally it's garnered extraordinary praise over on Logic Masters Germany from the few who have managed to solve it. Uh, indeed, Fistemafel himself warned me uh, that attempting this one in a video would be a risk uh, because apparently it is extremely difficult. Indeed, so difficult that um, in its initial form, Fistemafel had overlooked a possibility and had to tinker with the puzzle in order to perfect it, which just goes to show for all the aspiring setters out there that even the very best sometimes need to uh, just tweak their puzzles to make them absolutely pristine. Um, so I'm quite nervous about this one, actually. I asked Mark whether he'd solved it and I didn't get a clear answer. I think he had a go at it yesterday. And all he did, he sent me an email saying um, I should allow myself a long time to make the video. So I'm actually recording this a lot earlier um, in the day today in case I muff it up and have to choose a different puzzle. Um, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, before I start, please do check us out over on Patreon. There's lots of extra content there. Of course, we've got Demono's Everything Roggen is on Fire, um, which is a wonderful, wonderful puzzle um, to have a go at at the moment. And we're going to release the solution video for that probably in the next couple of days. So that's something to look forward to. Um, and apart from that, let's read the rules. What's going on? Well, normal Sudoku rules apply. A number in a circle indicates how many of the nine surrounding cells, including the circled cell itself, belong to the same region as the circled cell. Not all possible circles are given. So in other words, this is, I think we have to construct an irregular Sudoku here. Um, so although normal Sudoku rules apply, obviously in normal Sudoku, you'd have three by three block boxes throughout the grid. In this Sudoku, the regions, the nine cell regions, are going to have to be delineated by these minesweeper rules, which sounds, I mean, it sounds incredible. Um, but yeah, I've no idea how to do it. Do have a go yourselves. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. Now, I get to have a go. Let's get cracking. I have been looking forward to trying this because I love Fistemafel's puzzles, but I have to say, I have been nervous about this one as well because it's obviously mind-bendingly hard. Um, so I'm just wondering, is there something we can say about circle? We can say circled cells can never contain a one straight away, because if they did contain a one, that would imply that the region was of size one, because you could never, you know, connect the cell with any other cell, and that won't work. So I'm just wonder. I'm actually wondering whether we can do something with ones in column four. So the one in column four, I think, actually, is in one of three positions, isn't it? Um, okay, no, that's probably not where we start. We can, can you have a nine in it? You could have a nine in a circle, actually. You couldn't have a nine in any of the circles on the perimeter, but if you had a nine in, say, that position, that would be saying that those nine cells were all part of the same region, which would create a, a sort of region that looks like a normal Sudoku region. Um, so any cell that's not on the perimeter could contain a nine. But the ones on the perimeter are more restricted. Yeah, okay, yeah. Ones on the perimeter, this square, for example, actually this square might be clearer. This square, for example, can only be a maximum size of six because it only sees six minesweeper cells. So probably we start on the perimeter, maybe the corner even. Um, yeah, in fact, look, that corner cell can only be a three or a four because it can't be a two and it can't be a one. So it's a three or a four because it only sees three or four cells. So I guess the question is, is it the same as this one? Let's color that one in. So this one's purple. Is this purple? No, 
is the answer. That's clearly not purple, because if that was purple, the way to think about this is to notice that the purple here sees every single cell seen by this cell according to the rules, because this cell is only seeing those four squares. Well, this square sees those four squares too. So if this was three or four, this should be three or four, and it isn't. So that square is green, um, which means it comes out to there. And Oh, and now it's a three. Lovely. Yeah, now it's a three because it can't see this square because this is purple. So we actually get a digit. That's surprisingly quick. Um, and therefore that square must be green. And therefore that square must be purple. We have to grow these regions to be nine cells large. Right, now this square can't be purple, because if it was, this would be a 3, and it's not, it's a 2. So, the yeah, these two cells are the only purple cells seen by this. So this square, it might be green, or it might be something else, but it's definitely not purple. So purple comes down here. Um, maybe that square... So that square can be a maximum of five because this square is purple. So this square is four or five because it can't be, it can't be three. It already sees three. So it's going to see one or two of these squares as well. One or two of those squares are green. This square this square's worse. Look, that square sees seven cells that are definitely possibly green. Oh, it can't be seven. Um, oh, okay. So that square is already seeing three. So this is four, five, or six. Uh, okay. So I'm not sure now where we look. Do we look do we look here or do we look here or do we just figure something out here? Um, seven is quite large, isn't it? So seven. Ah, okay, one thing I can see is that seven doesn't connect to purple. Because if there if if seven was purple, that would be saying there were seven purple cells around this seven clue plus those three squares would be at least 10. Well, we're only looking for nine cell regions. So this is a new color providing it can't be green, which it can't be green. Obviously, it's exactly the same argument. So this square is a new color. Let's make it red. Um, now, now, what does that mean? I'm wondering whether we can do something and force the purple to turn right here because the yeah because we don't know anything really about how this seven is shaped but we do know it's not possible for at least one of these squares must be purple so sorry it must be purple must be red must belong to the seven so the two clue, the purple clue, can't escape down this side of the grid. So it's going to have to come across the top somewhere. It can't come through this square. Yeah, actually, look, if, if this square is not purple, how could you ever fulfill this clue? It would have to come to here. It couldn't escape through here, so it has to turn right. It's not taking this square, so it's got to take this square again. And it can't, because that will make the 7 broken. Sorry, I think I've made that far more complicated than I need to. But basically, this square has to be purple. Um, but now, if that was the shape of the 7, the 2 clue could come down here. And then all of those would be purple. Uh, this square, is that going to be the next key then? It's 
So if it's green, oh, this is getting really complicated. If it's green, that could be as high as a five. If it's not, maybe it's easier to ask if it's not green. If it's not green, let's just have a look at that. Oh, that's really clever. Right, okay. Sorry. If if this if this is not green, look what happens to these two squares. These two squares are broken because they have to contain the same minesweeper clue. Um, because this, if you think about how many cells this this cell sees that are green, it sees those three and it sees whichever of these are green. But that's exactly the same count as this one sees. So they should contain the same number and they, well, they can't because that will break the rules of Sudoku. So actually we can say that this is green. And now, now presumably it's four, five or six, is it? Oh no, it's not six because you can't get a count of six. This, ah, oh, this is good. I'm gonna get a six here. This square has to be four or five because it only sees five cells that could possibly be green. That gives a four five pair in the green, so that square's got to be a six. Um, now, one, two, three, four. So two of these are green. And can we tell which? Um, That's the question. Is there a way we can tell how this green region progresses? Um, I'm not sure. I don't have any intuition about how to solve this, to be honest. It, it feels very unnatural. Um, I keep wanting to sort of test whether any of these three. If that wasn't green, those two would have to be green. This would be a four. Ah, ah, that doesn't work. Right. I don't think anyway, I don't think it works if it's those two that are green because if those two are green and this one isn't, this one has a count of four and this one can't have a count of three because three's gone in the thing. So it has to have a count of four. It would have to take this square and you'd have two fours in the column. So that means that square is green. Oh, okay. That's probably not useful actually. Um, If we could disambiguate which of these was which, that probably would be helpful. Now, how can we do that? Um, so if that was in. Ah, ah, hang on. This one needs another this one needs another green. So it's got a choice of two squares. It could be both squares, of course, but my, my question is, can it not be this one? If this square was green, this one here, and this one was not green, that's not, one, not ever gonna work, is it? Because you can't loop round here and connect these two without this being too small to be a nine cell region or this region being the most gigantic region ever neither of which is going to be very sensible so i think what we can do is say that that one at least must be green and now now the six sees six green cells well, it does it see six green cells so that square is now not green so that means that one's got to come out to here this one sees four and i get another digit this must be a five, therefore, and therefore that must be green. Oh, that's lovely, because that this being green is forcing the purple down. 
of this square, the purple has to come out to the right somehow because it's going to get blocked off by the red down here. So that's purple. That's purple. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've still only got six purples listed. Um, and, well, hang on. That's enough, isn't it? Because now I've interfered too, well, I've interfered as much as I possibly can with the red. The red can now only be those squares for its seven squares. So it's suddenly, now the purple comes out. I don't believe it. Now the purple comes out to here. Now, now that square's enormous because it already sees six and it can't be six or seven. And it can't be nine because if it was nine, that square would imply it was a tenth cell in the red region. That square is an eight. This column needs one, three, and nine into it. I'm actually off to a reasonable start here, I think. Um, now. Okay, so what do we do next? We could... I think the question... Um, Trying to think what the right question is to ask. Is it? Uh, <laughs> no. Um, I think it's going to be these, isn't it? That one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, depending on how the purple grows from here, it could do that. In which case this would be a three. This needs to be at least three though, because it can't just stop. So it's definitely not two. And it could be four if it does something like that. So this is just a three or a four. Um, if it was a three, that would be interesting. That would place a three here. Oh, I see. I see. Can that square be green? Oh, this is very clever. Look, if that square is green, you can see immediately now it's already seeing four cells. So it has to be higher than four. It's got to be at least four. It can't be four, though. It can't be five and it can't be six. So this would have to be seven at least which would mean though something like those seven cells. Well, seven plus four is bigger than nine. So this cannot be green. And we might be able to do, if we can do the same with that one, that would be amazing because the green would have to come out there. It can, we can, it's the same argument. If, if this is green, it's seeing three, which it can't be. So it has to be at least seven again, and it could be seven, but only at the cost of this being a 12 size region. These two are not green. So that's green and that's green and that's it. That's the green region drawn. Now the blue region comes across the top. And this square has to be a five because this square cannot be a three or a four. It can't be a two because if it's a two, the region's finished now. It can't take any of these squares. So it's got to be higher than it's got to be higher than four, but it can't be six. This is unbelievable. It can't be six because all six of those would need to be blue, but this one is green. So all of those turn blue. This square is a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It still needs two more. So if that one was blue it would see three. No, that doesn't work. If this is blue, it already sees three blues. So it would have to be at least six. And you can see that's going to, that's going to mean all of those turn blue. And that makes this region too large again. So this square is not blue. Uh, we'll make that square red. Um, I don't think that red will connect there, but no, it can't. So let's, we'll make this red. Oh, 
this is this is really useful again because this square cannot be a three or a four now therefore it must be a two because it can't be a one or it would be a one cell region so it is a two how does it now grow if it takes that one this this two cell red region could never take either of those squares so it must take this one these two now must not be red so they are a new color make those gray this must be red to get out the gray must get out and we are cooking with gas here um, now, now what do we do? Um, two, three, one, two, so I've got five, sorry, I've got seven blues. That square is interesting to me because that square can't be blue it can't be green green is finished and if it was purple it would be a two clue because the purple would have just have to, purple purple has only got two more cells to take so it would have to be those two but then that would be a two and it would clash so this is a new color this square here and it's i'm starting to get my head around this this is it's sort of in a corner so the maximum size of this clue is four because it can take it can see those squares only. So this is two, three, or four. Uh, don't know what that means. Um. No, sorry, don't know what that means. Um, so probably, I'm not sure whether we look at these or the reds down here next. It's quite interesting though, because I definitely you know, have a little inkling of where I should be looking, which is quite handy. Um, now this eight clue is gonna complete the red region because whichever of these, we've got to take two of these three squares to make this get to a count of eight. And whichever two we take, what plus this square will get to a nine cell region. So two of these are red. So none of these are red. So whatever this region is has to, has to sneak out past the reds above it. Um, but that does I was thinking about whether it had to take this square but I'm not sure it I think it could do that and then this could be a different colour I have a feeling I'm missing some logic there that, that looks possible but may not be uh oh dear how long have i had oh not not ages so far um okay so can we do some more with the orange here this blue can't get penned in altogether You've got to put a two in the blue, actually. Look, there's a two here and a two here. You've got to put a two in the blue. So the two... Uh, I was going to see if I could get rid of the two from here, but I don't... The problem is the two in the blue, if the blue just comes out two cells like this and this, you could put the two in row four of the grid and it wouldn't see that square. Um... Ah, ah, no, I can do better than that. This two, where do you put two in the green? It's got to be in those two squares by Sudoku, because it can't be in those three. Now, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I have got no idea where the two goes in the blue region. I think it could be 
it could be in any of these cells, I think. But look, whichever of these is the blue two, when you combine it with the green two, we found the two twos that must exist in this puzzle in row three and row four, because there'll be exactly one two in row three, there'll be exactly one two in row four, and we know that they are the green two and the blue two. Therefore, they are not the orange two. The orange two, this cannot be a two, this is a three four. Now I've got a three four pair. Might affect that one or this one. Um, now, let me think about this. This one. This is this is unbelievably beautiful, I think. Let's just think about whether this is, if this is not, if this square is not purple or orange, so it's a new color. Can this be a new color? Uh, I'll use a different color. What can I use that's unlikely to, I'll use light gray. Right, so it would have to therefore go to this square as its next position. Now, what digit are we going to put in here? We can't put two in here, because if we put two in here, we know that that's, that's providing a third two on top of the blue two and the green two in this row. So it's not two. That means it's gonna to have to take this square and or this square, which means this would be a three or a four count, which it cannot be. So this square is either purple or, I don't think this can be purple now. If this is purple, doesn't it have to be two or three here? Because otherwise the purple's gonna to grow too big. No, if that's purple, oh no, hang on. No, it's, I, think it, I think that's correct. If this is purple, what did you, it's already seeing three purples, which it can't be because this three is ruled out. The maximum, it could more purples it could see would be one more because we can't grow the purple more than one more so this would either be a three or a four which breaks the puzzle so this is orange now and it's yeah this this is an orange five i think because it can't be a three or a four it can't be a two or, or you can't get the orange out. So all of those have to turn orange in order not to clash with the three and the four. And that means the orange five goes here. Woo. Um, which forces the purple down. One, two, three. So now this is the, this is the eighth purple. So Okay, this is the eighth purple. So then last purple square is in either this square or this square, and that will determine what this count is. Oh, but the other way of determining what this count is is to count this square, which sees four orange. That's a four, therefore that's a three. Now where's the last purple going? It can't go here because this square would see four purples. So that's the final purple. That's gonna press on the reds. So now, now the purples are done. There's no three in those. Therefore, there's a three at the bottom of the grid. The purple is done. The, okay, the purple is done. This circle hasn't got many options now. Yeah, this circle has to be a two or a six. Um, because it can't be a three, four or a five and it can never be more than six because it only sees six cells. 
in total. So this is two or six. Now, what does that mean? I have a feeling I should just know this. I mean, if this is six, it's taking all of those squares. That's going to force those squares as well. Those two here would turn red. This would be... This would be a six. This would be at least a four, but it could be a four or a five, I think. Um... Okay. Apologies if you're all seeing things that I'm I'm not spotting here. I'm not quite sure where I should be looking. Um, I've got to put three in the red, which looks like it's going to have to be in one of these three squares. Uh, okay, where can we look now? <laughs> we can... Uh, is there something we can do over this side? These two seem very unconstrained. I've got one circle in this one, no circles at all in that one. This square, maybe this square, this square sees, ah, this square has to be five, at least, it already sees five. But it can't be five, because that would clash here, so this must be higher than five. And it can't be nine, because it doesn't see that one. So this is six, seven, or eight. Okay. Hmm. Um... doesn't seem to be good enough does it so there must be some some other way we can we can think about this I think what is said other way going to be uh, don't know I really don't know is there some way I can I'm wondering if there's, is it Sudoku that's going to help me here? I'm never too confident. I've got to put a, oh, I've got to put a one in orange. That's probably going to be one of these ones. If it's not, it gets quite hard to put a one in orange. The or orange one would have to be over there. Mm, no, okay. Um... So, where else can we find joy here? We can... Problem is, I'm not sure where I should be looking. I really am not. We know that this isn't red. So that has to be a new colour. This we know is not red, so that's a new colour. What we don't know... If this blue t comes out like this, oh, maybe we can. I can see how two is a possible number here. Because th those could be blue and these could be a different color. Six, for six to be a real number, all of those have to be in. These two would have to both be red. This would have to be blue. So the blue would be those digits plus one more. Um, now, is there anything wrong with that? That's the question, I think. I 
tell you what is difficult to do, and that's put five in the purple. Yeah, where does five go in purple? Purple is, com purple is complete. Five can only go in that square. Wow. Now where, now where does four go in purple? Oh, good grief, it's Sudoku, isn't it? Four goes there. Now, now what? Um, don't know. So now what digits have I not placed in purple? I've not placed six, seven, and eight, I think, into those squares, which that's not that helpful, is it? That's a shame, actually. Okay. Um, so we're going to have to think harder. What about this square? If that square is red. Ah, if that square is red, can I ever get this to a count of two? The answer is maybe. If that square is red. Um, This square is obviously now blue. No, you can't. You can't make this a count of two because it sees this square. One, two, it needs to see more squares. So ah, this is interesting, that's so clever. I didn't spot that at all. But if this is red, now that's impossible to make this have a count of two or six. If it has a count of two, it has to stop there because it can't take any of those three squares. But that is not a nine cell region, even given I've got to put another red in here anyway. So this, this is just broken because this can't be six, obviously, because this square is red. So th what that tells us is that this square is not red. And if this square is not red, those two squares are red because they're the only ones red can be. So this square is now blue. This square is probably blue on the basis that if it isn't, I don't know how we get the count of this to work. Oh, I can do something different though. I've got a three, four pair in column one. I've got to put three and four in red. That is a three, four pair. That's one, six, nine in column one. No six here. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right, now look, I've got a six in one of those squares. I have not got a six here in purple. Where does six go in purple? In one of these two squares. That means this square is a two. That means this square cannot be blue. Because if it's blue, you cannot extend the blue any further. Because whichever cell you extend it into would count towards this square's count. So this square is a different colour, which means the blue has to get out over the top of it like that. This is a new colour. Um, what should we make it? Maybe green? Because the, that green's finished, so that we're not going to clash greens. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. This... Oh, it's, so, it's beautiful again. This circle is now king. Because it can't be a two or a three, but it can only at maximum see four. So it is four. Those squares all turn green. This forces the blue out here. Once this blue is now of size seven. Its next square is a one. So it can't you can't put ones into any of those squares. Does that matter? Um maybe not. It's a little bit interesting for this column, look. One of those two squares has to be a one. I think I figured out something like that in the very first minute of the video. 
um, but I, I don't think I've eliminated this square from being a 1. So there's a 1 in one of those two. I'm not even prepared to pencil mark it. Um, okay. Maybe four here. Four. I've not placed four yet in this blue region. That can't be four. There's a three, four pair looking at those two squares, a four looking at this square, a four looking at these two squares. So I've got to put four. Right, so whichever one of these is the blue one, the cell after it has to be a blue four. Now that could be a blue four, or that could be a blue four, but I think that's, that's it, isn't it? So there's a blue four in one of those positions. Can see that we've got sort of fours aligning. I can't put any more fours into row six or seven. Um, oh dear, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I think I'm getting stuck. Uh, okay, what do we need to do now? The other thing I've got to do is put two into blue. I've got a two pencil mark there in green. So two is not in any of these squares. It's not in those squares because that we know that the last blue square is a four. So I think one of, the, ah, so where does this two? That square is just a two, isn't it? I think, I think it is. I'm prepared to, to go with that. I think that feels like it was sensible logic. Can we do that with any other digits? Yes, we can. Five in blue. Where does five go in blue? It's not there. It's not there because of that five. It's not here. So it must be there. That's a five. In fact, I've got an awful... Oh, no, I haven't. I've got quite a lot of fives in the grid. You can very nearly place a five in row two because you can't put it in those squares or those squares. Five is in one of those two positions. Five. Where are the fives to place? We've got fives in one of those two. Got a place of five in one of these three, I think. One of these three. Oh, ah, right, right, right. This circle then. This is this is so clever. Look, what is goes in this circle? This circle sees two, three, and four in its row. So it's got to be a five or a six. Now, if it's, f oh no, if it could be a five, it could be a five and attach to green. It can't, if it's a six, it can't attach to green anymore because it would be a 10 cell region. How many regions have I got? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Oh, how many regions have I drawn in? I think it's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Unless those two can be the same. No, no they can't. Five and five is ten. If, that, if the red joins to the orange, it's a ten cell region. So there are the nine colors I've got in this grid at the moment are nine different regions. So if this square was a size six, let's put a six in there, what color are we attaching it to? It must attach to one of the regions I've got in the grid. And it can't be that one. That will create a 10 cell region. 
and it clearly can't be anything further away because that's just going to create an enormous region. So this square is not a 6, that's a 5 and I think it has to be green because the only thing that can attach to it without creating too large a region is green. That's green and therefore that square's green because you can't obviously hide a little region in here without having very serious problems. Um, now, now that five must do something for the fives I found. Yes, where does the five go now in row two? It goes here. Where was the last five? It was in row, was it this row? Yes, it was this row and it's got it's got to go there, which seems to be interfering with my four pencil marks. Oh, please interfere. I think it does. I think this is a five. And this five has to be in a region that is not green or blue or orange. It's got to, it's a red five. Red five standing by here. That is a red five. This is the Luke Skywalker cell. I've got to call the video that then, if I can finish this puzzle. The Skywalker cell. This row seven, column seven is a red five. But that means that square is a four. And that four must be a blue four. And this being a blue four affects this square. That's a red three. That's a red four now. It's still, I still don't know which of these is the blue one. Okay. Now... How do we keep going now? I've got to... I've not got many circles left to use, have I? This one can't be one, two, five, four. It's got to have a sensible... It can't be a big number because it's got to connect to other... a region that's not that's already existing in the grid. So probably it has to be a three, I think. If it's as, if it's as high as six, which it could be by Sudoku, it can't be a red six, because once you connect it to this red cell, it's an enormous region. It couldn't be a gray six. It couldn't be a green six. There's already six cells there. That would make the green region 12. No, it's not a six. It's a three. It's a three. It looks like it could be green. Oh, no, it can't be green. Sorry. No, it can't be green because green is getting its quota of greens from these four squares in order to complete the five, and that will create the nine cell green region. So this is not green. It's not blue. It's not orange. Orange is too far away. It's probably red. Something like that would work. Could it be grey? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it could be grey. So this is grey or red. Let's put that in. Grey or red. Don't know if we know which one of those is correct. So, now we, ha we have a choice, I think. We either, I don't know whether to do more Sudoku now or to do, is there a simple way of telling how this, this grey and red resolve themselves? I'm not at all sure, I have to say. Um, OK. 
okay. I don't really know where to look. Ah, column one, this square is a seven or an eight. It must have a partner down at the bottom. So that square is a seven or an eight. No, that's not done it, has it? Um, so we've got... Uh, I don't know where to look. What digits have I got the most of? I've got a few twos. Can I do anything? I've got five twos, actually. Can I do more with twos? I've got to put a two. No, I've already got the two there. Not sure. Threes. I've got five threes in the grid. Ah. I've got to put a three in row two somewhere, and I think it's got to go in blue. There's a three in one of those two squares, I think. That might be wrong. Um, uh, it's definitely not. Oh, no, hang on. No, that's, yeah, that's okay. It's not here. This is a three. It's not in there. Yeah, there's a three in one of those squares. What about anywhere else for threes? I've got to put a three still in green somewhere. So the three in green has to be in one of three positions. It has to be here, here, or here, which is, this is a slightly frivolous pencil mark. So apologies for that. Um, actually wondering about fours in blue here fours yes yes where does four go in the blue region now i think it can only go in one square and i think it's this one those can't be fours you could never put a four in any of these squares because of these fours and you can't make the blue region grow to as far down as row five, or it would be a 10 cell region. So there is only one square, that one, and that gives me a three here. That means that's not the, th that's not the green three. The green three is in one of those two. Which, ah, now I've got to put two. Oh, I already knew I had to put two in blue somewhere, didn't I? don't think I know any more about where that goes it's in one of those four squares I now now know which I think I probably can't or maybe I will pencil mark it I don't know which which of these is blue and I don't know which of them is two so there's an awful lot of ambiguity about these these squares so maybe fours were the place we need to look we've got I have got quite a lot of fours now I've got seven fours so the fours I've not placed are this row. I've not got any fours in those squares. Yes, okay, row, yeah, row eight's fours as well. So, I've just noticed that square is green. Because if it's not, in order to complete the five, five total, those three would have to be green. And then this square would sit on its own as a one cell region. That won't work. That square is green. Green has already got a four. This is great. Right, so green has got a four in it. So those two squares can't be green. Because one of those squares is a four and it would repeat the four in the box. So this square is green. Now, does that mean it? No, it doesn't mean it's the green three because that could still be the green three. OK. Um, so. What does that mean? <laughs> what does it mean? Um, I 
I don't know. Can we? I've got to have a. Uh, I've got to have a red four in the grid somewhere. So if those were the fours, like this could. That's quite interesting. If the fours, you can see we've got this X-wing of fours. So we either know there's fours in this orientation or fours in this orientation. This one looks more difficult to me because if the fours are in this orientation, which one of these is the red four? One of them needs to be. Well, it can't be that one because in connecting this to this, the gray region could never reach size nine. Um, so this is not the red four. So this would have to be a red four. And I'm very suspicious that the gray now couldn't be size nine. Let's look at this, I think. If this is if this is a red four, I'm gonna get rid of the color for this one. And just let me stare at this one. This would then have to be green, wouldn't it? In order to complete my five clue. Therefore, this is all this becomes the red five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Now I've got six red squares now. So the only way of connecting them is orthogonally like this. Now look at the grey region. The grey region is only of size seven. It's not size nine. This is wrong. And that is lovely. Um, because that means that the orientation of the fours in the grid is not this one. It must be that one. That means this square becomes a three. Um, this one can't now be green, which means that square is green. That finishes the green region. I'm not sure what color this is yet. Um, this one can't possibly be a red four though, because again, that's gonna pen in the, the gray shape. So that one I think has to be gray which means that one has to be gray. This one, well, this is a red four. I'm sure about that. If you get two connected regions on an edge in this puzzle, we can never, these must be gray because if they're not gray to connect the grays together, you're going to isolate a region here that would be too big once the gray is connected round the edge of them. So those are gray. Now I've got I've got eight grays. So they're still look ah now oh beautiful. Now this square can't be gray. Because if it's gray it sees four. So that's red. So so now either this one is gray or this one is grey. That one's great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It doesn't work. Right, this one is not grey. Because if it is, the only way of connecting these sort of islands of red in the grid would be the most efficient way we could do it would be like that with these three. Now look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can't put any more reds in the grid. There are nine reds already yet they aren't connected. So that is Roggen. And that is brilliant because it means that's red. And now how do you make the gray? The gray has to grow to here. That creates a nine cell region. The only way of connecting the reds is through this little alleyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got the nine reds. So this square can only be blue um, because no other region can reach it. This square can only be orange because no other region can reach it. Uh, uh, okay, so now I've got the blues and the oranges to finish off. The blue has two more re two more cells to take, so it can't be that one. That's orange. This can't be orange. Can oh no, it could be if it just goes across like that. That can't be blue. <laughs> that can't be blue because if that's blue, that's blue, and these two cells can't ever connect to orange. So that's orange. And now this square can't be orange, so that's blue. Now that means that 
Oh, it's going to be this circle, isn't it? Yes. This circle already sees one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not six, therefore. So if it if this one is orange, that would turn to an eight. Oh. Oh, okay, sorry, I'm not sure that we can actually do that. We think we have to get this square in order to disambiguate these last two white cells. But anyway, we have made amazing progress just there. That is, now one has to be in one of those two squares in box, I can't, what is this box nine in this puzzle? Let's call it box nine. Um, now we've got, we've basically got an irregular Sudoku to do, haven't we? How do we do this irregular Sudoku? That is not the blue two that I was originally marking these pencil marks in for. So I'm going to remove that one. I think either of these could still be the blue two. Where, where, did, where does the two go in orange? By that logic, you can't ever put it in those squares. It can't be here because of this two. So I think that is the orange two. And, ah, uh, no, I was about to get excited then, but I don't think I can. That means that the blue two is in one of these two squares, but it's still, I still don't know whether it's this one or not. Oh, bother. Um, the gray two is a little bit restricted now. Look, in this row, because the two has to be, it's not there because of that red two. So the gray two is in one of those two squares, I think. Oh no, it's not that one, that's in the same column. So let's try and do some good Sudoku. We've got the gray two now. And, okay. Where on earth do we look now? We've got a one here, that's not a one. Um, <laughs> I don't know where to look. I'm so sorry if you're seeing all, all sorts of things. I am, I am trying, I am scanning, I promise you. I'm just not seeing anything very useful. I really hope this isn't going to be monstrously hard at this point. Um, oh, I keep going. That, that one domino here, I've just spotted that for the third time in the puzzle. Um, right, come on. Where can we go now? We can... Ah, that's an interesting thought. Where does one go in the bottom row of the grid? Uh, it can't be in these squares because there's a blue one already here. So the one must be in green. And we know that and that are not ones. So this is a one. And that gets us another digit. And I'm very thankful for that. Now one in red is in one of two places. Now, ah, now one... One in row eight is very restricted. It can't be in green, it can't be in blue, so it must be in red. So let's have a look. Let's keep going with ones, I think. Yeah, beautiful. Now where does one go in row five? It's not here. It's not in orange. It's not in red because the one has to be up there. Well, because of this one here. And it's not there because we have the one in grey. So more progress. Ones and nines go into the grid. Now what do we do? It feels like... How many ones have I done? Oh, and I haven't actually done that many. Um... So one in blue at the top has to be in one of two places. I was about to say one place, but somehow I read five, three, and four and thought I saw the number one, which I don't think I did. Uh, 
One's got to appear in green as well, but I don't see how to do that. And one, one, two, I've got six ones. So there's these ones here, these ones here, and the one in green. This can't be a one. I don't think I know, do I, where the ones go? There's an absolute dearth of information in this puzzle about sixes, sevens, eights, and nines. If you actually look outside of this column, which is complete, obviously, we don't know anything about sixes, sevens, eights, and nines in any other position. Every other given digit that we've now got is a one, two, three, four, or five. That is a bit worrying. That's not an eight. That's not a seven. Just because of these. Um, in fact, what have we got along here now? Six, seven, and nine into that square. Um, by Sudoku, look, irregular Sudoku logic, those two squares are the same. Um, and if yeah, if you're not familiar with why that is, just think about the grey region. The grey region needs to contain all the digits from one to nine. Now the one it's missing in column nine is whatever goes in there. But we also know that that square is grey, so these two squares must be the same. Now, do we know anything about them? We know that that is six, seven, eight, or nine. Six, eight, or nine. There's a seven there. Right. So these squares are six, eight, or nine. By the power of Sudoku. Right, and that's this square is interesting to me because whatever goes in that square is grey. But where does it go in red? It can't go in the column there because it obviously will see them. It's not in those two squares, which are not six, eight, or nine. And it can't go there by Sudoku. So that square is also six, eight, or nine. These three squares here are the same. Now. Right, I can eliminate, I can use this to eliminate six from these squares. Now this isn't easy, but I'm definitely taking it because these three are the same. Now imagine they were six. You can see in red now, you have to put six here. It's the only place six can go. Now you can't put six in purple. There's a six here and a six here, ruling out the six pencil marks. So these squares here cannot be six. So now these squares are just eights and nines and that means what? Don't know. It must be close to cracking, I think, now. Hmm. Um, mine's got to be in one of those. That's a little bit interesting. Um, row six, where does nine go? It's in one of those two cells. But the interesting thing about that is that means that nine in, co in the red here, it's not in those three squares because either this is a nine, in which case you can't put nine in those three, or this is nine, in which case the rest of this region can't have another nine in it. So these nines here are a bit strange, but they mean there's no nine here. Now, do we use that to our advantage? Well, yes, we can. We c c maybe. So if there's no nine here, the nine in red is now in one of the, I'm running out of pencil marks here. There's definitely a nine in one of these two squares now in the red. So there's no nine in those squares.
Does that mean anything? If there's no nine in those positions, what do we learn from that? I don't know. It looks like nine starting to get restricted. just can't see what it means though I'm afraid I'm sorry if that's if that's meant to reveal something obvious um, nines here there's definitely a nine in one of those two maybe I can do something down If I've, ah, I've concluded there's a, ah, maybe I can do more irregular Sudoku logic. There's, maybe these squares are more interesting than I think they might be. So those squares there are six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, now, let me just think about this. Because, we know those three squares are the same. Now, these three squares, by irregular Sudoku logic, are the same as those three squares. And we know that because there must be two sets of the digits 1 to 9 in these columns, and two sets of the digits 1 to 9 in the grey, and the red combined. So the cell sticking out here must be replaced in these three squares. Now these two are the same. So this square and this square are the same. This is not there. This is 6, 8 or 9. Maybe, so which means this is not 7. So now I've got this. There's a 7 in one of those two squares. Cool. This is not easier at all. Um, now what does that mean? Possibly nothing. Good Lord, this is so difficult. Um, now, come on, Simon, you can do this. It's going to be one of our longer videos, but that wasn't, that's what I've been expecting. So I'm not shocked by that, I have to say. Um, Now, what can we do? I feel like these nines are a bit useful. I just can't see how to make them to really give me progress. Which digits were the same? These three digits, weren't they? So if they were all nines, that would force this to be a nine. I don't see why that's impossible. I really don't. Six, seven, four, seven, eight there. Six, eight, nine here. Six, eight, nine here. There's no nine here. I do know that. There must be a seven in one of these squares. That's true. best I've got here is that there's no 9 in these squares. There's no, so there's no 9 in these, this square. There's no 9 in this square. So the 9 in row 3 of the grid is, oh no, it's still got three possible positions. It's one of those three. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. These squares have got to be six, sevens, eights, and nines. I 
didn't think I was going to get so stuck at this point. I have to say, this is really still very... I think I'm just looking at it incorrectly. There must be a simple way of doing this, and I'm just not spotting what it, what it is. Sevens in this row have to either be here or here. Um, every time I highlight as well, things change to being orange, which is a bit distracting. Uh, come on. What is it that you're missing, Simon? The... Six, seven, eight, nine. Everything seems to be six, sevens, eights, and nines, doesn't it? These squares are six, seven, eight, and nine as well. Is there a way somehow of using what these three... These three squares are the same digit. So whatever they are, whether it's 8 or 9, do we learn anything else about the state of the world? Let me just have a look at this. So imagine they are all 8s just for the sake of exposition. What does that mean? Does it mean anything useful? That square becomes 6 or 9. We've got... Um, No, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything very helpful there. I could bifurcate, but you know I won't do that. So that's not nine. I've just noticed that. Why did I think that was nine? Was that this column I was looking at? Maybe it was. If this square couldn't be a six, it would be interesting. So let's think about that. If that square's a six, that square's a six. That square's a six. I don't like doing this because it feels a bit like bifurcation, but I'm a bit desperate here. In fact, if that says a six, these or this these three all become nine, so this is a six nine pair. So it's a six nine pair in red. No, I'm just not seeing it. I'm not spotting what I'm meant to spot here. I'm about to have to take my car for an MOT, which is also a bit worrying. So this might have to sit on the back burner until I get back from that. Um, I've still got another five minutes before I need to leave. So let's carry on, see if we can spot anything better. Um, I mean, I could just start labeling, you know, labeling all of the cells. I also don't want to do that particularly. This one can't be six because there's six up here. So the six in this column is in one of those two squares. So the six in blue up here is in either. It's got so many possibilities until I can resolve this this whole business here around this seven and eight. I think I'm going to struggle to solve this. Um, I really like this logic around the nines. I have to say that really felt lovely that I could lock nine out of those squares. But I can't see, what I can't see is what it means. means there's definitely a 9 in one of those squares. There's no 9 here. Ah! Ah! This this 9 is the key. 
9 has got to be in blue in one of those squares. No, hang on, it's not. What am I talking about? Am I going completely balmy? I am going balmy. No, 9, nine in blue is not there. 9 in... Oh, 9 in blue could be here. Ah, oh, no! Oh. This 9, I felt like I didn't see that. Why is that helpful? nine is not in those squares is this a blue nine or do we just not know nine we have to put a nine in blue somewhere is there a reason none of these can be nine i don't think so I think I'm getting hung up on this. I don't think this is this is the key actually. I think I've got to find something better. Um, now, come on. I'm so sorry, by the way. I feel like I'm wasting all your times now by just being a bit silly. Um, two, three. going really well for a long time uh, I've got to put three have I oh have I not done all the threes where are the threes how many threes have I got one two three four five six I've done I've got a lot of threes here where do the threes go one two three four five Six, seven. I should be able to do more threes, I think. Oh, this could be exciting. So, where does the three go in this row? It's not there because... Oh, no, it could be there. That, that would have that turned orange and I thought it's in the same region. Oh, bobbins. Three... Actually, where does three go in this row? It's not there. It's not here. It's not here. And it's not here. Oh, good grief. That's a three. Okay. That's going to be annoying. Um, if you've been shouting about that for a long time. Um, so where does three go now in this row? It's not here. This is a three, I think. Oh, that's really, that's really, un that's very unfortunate though, isn't it? That's not done anything. That has not done anything. It's lovely to get the digits in, don't get me wrong, but it's it's not interfered with any of the logic I've been doing, I don't think. Oh, how disappointing. Maybe this row. Um, I need to place one, two, six, seven, and eight. So that's one, two, seven, or eight. That's two, six, seven, or eight. And this is one, six, seven, or eight, I think. Um, come on, come on, Simon. What does this mean? If I could get a six, seven, eight triple or something here, that might be helpful. Ah, nine in the green here has to be in one of those squares, look. Because it can't be here because nine's locked out of the red. Nine's in one of those cells. I don't know if that matters, but I just noticed it now. Um, oh, yes, it does. It does matter. Nine. Where does nine go in this row now? Nine is not here. It's not in green because of this nine. It could be here. It can't be here. There's a nine in one of those. It can't be in red because of these nines. That's a nine. Oh, come on. Nine is not there anymore. I still don't know whether this nine is in this orange region or in the blue region. Um, 
Do I or do I not? I don't think I do. Six has to be. Yes! Yes! Six has to be in one of those two squares. Which one? I don't give a monkeys. Because if that's a six, that square's not a six. If that's a six, that square's not a six. That is gives me an eight nine pair here. That's not eight. This is a one six seven triple now in, in the red region. Oh it's maybe it doesn't do anything. Eight nine pair here now. That gives me an six seven pair here which may oh yes it gives me an eight that's a seven that fixes the world because that seven is already seeing seven so that must turn blue this must be orange this is not seven anymore this is not eight anymore um well, there's a two now in that region, so that must be a six. That must be a nine. This is a, becomes a one. This becomes a two. And maybe we can continue on our merry way. And maybe I can solve this puzzle. Who knows? Um, this nine now is... Oh, that nine is absolutely enormous. Eight, nine. Six, nine. Um, surely, does that six not do anything more? It gives me a seven here. It gives me an eight here. We know that this eight and this eight are the same. So this square becomes a six. This is all six nines pairs. This square is now fixed. That gives me a seven here. Got a six here by Sudoku. That's a nine. Um, now, this is not 7 anymore. I'm doing this very haphazardly, but never mind. That's an 8. I don't I hope I didn't just misclick there. That would be a disaster. That's a 7. That's an 8. Uh, now, what do I need in here? I need 6 and 9. I can do that. 9 here, 6 here, 6 here, 7 here. Come on, Simon. Um, I'm sorry that took me so long, by the way. I wasn't trying to be a bit slow, but sometimes, as you've just seen, you don't spot things for ages and it's very, very upsetting. But I am really, really proud that I look, it looks like I might be able to solve what I know. I've got two threes. No, I, I've just done that wrong. Thank goodness. I just misscanned it. Please let it be a misscan. Please let it be a misscan. Six. I think it was just a misscan. I think it's still okay. Um, twos and sevens along here. That's a seven. That must be a two. In this box, I need to put a seven. And in this must be an eight. And that looks like it's right. Yes, did it. Come on. Oh, I'm very pleased. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that's taken me ages. Um, I have to go and get my car in OT now. Hour and a half video. It was a wonderful puzzle. Wonderful logic. Butchered by me a bit at the end. Um, but I hope that you still appreciated the effort. And I'm sure you appreciated the skill of the constructor, which was is second to none. Fist and Mafeld, take a bow as usual. And thank you so much for watching. I'm back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.